Ladies and gentlemen, what a donkey mistake was that? As you see from my little bad title or thumbnail, whatever you call it from uh, YouTube, I made a fatal mistake to one of my PLCs when I was doing the testing. And boy, oh boy, rarely I make this. And I mean, I have made it before, I'm not gonna lie. But it's been a year since I've done that, and I did it yesterday. So, what I did, uh, well, I had a uh, 24 volt, no, uh, 240 volt 24, PLC. I had four of them to test, and um, happened to be that uh, I completely uh, dozed out, listened to music, chilling out, swapped the PLC. So, going on to the next project, uh, next uh, test, which is going to be in the following video when I say where those four PLCs come from and things like that. And completely forgot to look at what input it is. And what did I did? Put a 240 onto 24 volt input. A kaboom. Boy, that was a spark and a half, I tell you that. And that blew my my fuses all around the house and my missus was not happy at all. But hey, she's used to it. I do that often. I'm not blowing up PLCs up, but often I test things that things happen. I do need to improve that part in the house, which is coming very soon. So yes, ladies and gentlemen, forgot to mention, my name is Ingus, I'm from IGS Electronics, and today is a rare thing that I admit, well, it's a rare thing I actually do, and I'm going to show you what I've done. So, uh, what a donkey. Let's get started. <laughs> So, here we are. So, uh, as you can see, I got two PLCs. This is the one I started running my testing, which you'll find out in the next video why. And as you can see, this one in here is clearly says the AC DC relay and uh, it's 240 uh, volt uh, supply. Done all the testing. Again, as I said, music playing, chilly now, having a good time. Jumped onto my next one. Completely forgot to look at it, assuming there is 240 volts. And what do I do? Put a 204 volts in a 24 volt DC input. And obviously, bad things is going to happen. There's my, there's my culprit. Luckily for me, I had a spare, well, so a spare part to, repair, to fix this up. But we'll have a quick look, just give us an opportunity today. As well, have a look at it when that happens to you. And some of the things going uh, to look out uh, for when your uh, PLC completely goes dead. So to strip the to strip the, the PLC itself is actually quite easy. I mean, Siemens actually made that quite easy. It's just remove that one because before I lose that one, it's literally these clips in here. So I need to make sure move that, move that, and here we go. The the, the head opens up quite quickly. So have a look at the damage that we've done in there. I've already done it. I had a look at it already. I'll show it to you guys as well. So uh, that comes off. This is your a uh, processing part in here. So unplug. Actually, we can just take a take 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 on take that one off, and this one this one in here comes off as well. So you have two parts. One is your processing part. This is this guy in here. So uh, this is where everything is saved, and then you have all your uh, your relay part and uh, and uh, input part and transition things like that. So you do you 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 can separate your things, which is which is not a big problem. So, uh, so yeah, and then you have a power supply part. By the way, this this part in here, this, it didn't get it didn't get affected because it's got fuse in there to protect it and all other things before it even manages to get to it. So the but the, so the PLC I was using, uh, where this power supply come from, it was absolutely fine. I tested that already. So the next one, let's have a look at the damage. So uh, let's come a bit closer. As you can see in here. I already tried to test it, so make sure maybe I didn't I didn't blow I didn't just blow. Let me just remove this stuff in here. I put this wire around it. This in here is fuse. Okay, where's that? Where's that cap I had in here somewhere in here? It did. Yeah, it looks like that. So I thought at the beginning, oh my god, or maybe or maybe I got lucky. This is the fuse. This is the first thing, guys. You want to test when your uh, when your board goes dead. It's 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 your fuse. All the Siemens, all the Siemens controllers will have the same fuse. Even the older S two hundred series PLCs, they have a uh, uh, this type of fuses in them. So do check it out. And as you can see, that went completely blew off. Obviously, I cleaned it up a little bit, but this was all black. 
and I mean, boy oh boy, it took a shock. So, uh, so what I did, <laughs> I quickly thought maybe, maybe, maybe we should look. That that uh, it was it was a blunt guess because no way uh, these components in here could have survived in many different ways. They must have had some form of shock to it. So I put a little wire around it to see if see if it's worth replacing that fuse. And as you can see in here, I must screw uh, this this this. I think this, I think this, it looks like the cap. Is, is, is it was starting cooking up and obviously it start cracking as well so yeah here we go that's what happens when you put 240 volt into a 240 about well, 24 volt dc power supply so yeah here we go guys and then i went online and had a bit of a, a bit of a check if there's any any of these you can get you don't so really, you you can't you can't get them. There's apparently a couple of Chinese companies making these power supplies, but I looked at them. They look dodgy. They really do look dodgy. They say they claim they work as as good as as good as these guys in here, but uh, when I looked at their boards, those board those boards look like there's like hell of a lot of a a, a components missing. So uh, I'm probably gonna get it. You know, they want about sixty quid for it. So I'm probably gonna get it to should test it out to see, see to see how it works. So you never know. It might be good, maybe not, but I doubt it because obviously this is quite managed, uh, quite managed power supply as well. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. So that's the mistake you don't want to make, but it happens. You know, I've done it twice in my uh, career of ten years. First one I did it with the with the Mitsubishi, and the second one I did in. Let me just see if I can. Uh, swap these around it and remove that one uh, and I did the one I made uh, many, many many years ago so yeah ladies and gentlemen what I'm going to do with this uh, CPU if any of you want to because uh, I'm not going to mess around with it I'm not really interested in things like that. the only part in this CPU is damaged it's it's actual power supply it's repairable and you can get a pretty nice PLC back up and running do Comment in section below your interest. I will leave it for a few months, uh, for a couple of months. So, uh, for if you are interested, uh, no matter where you are in the world, I'm pretty sure I should be able to ship it to you. Uh, that will be free of charge as well. So, uh, so yeah, uh, let me know in the comments below your interest and uh, I, reckon, I reckon about one or two months time. Uh, probably, actually, I'm going to run it for about a month, in about a month's time. Uh, if any of you, obviously, if any of you are interested. We'll uh, get that shipped to you guys and, and, and see if you can you can repair it. And uh, the only thing is, the, the the only thing it would be good if you do repair it. Don't forget to send us uh, send us uh, the, a small video or a picture that the controller is up and running. But but yeah, when it comes down to, let me just uh, put that uh, camera. Is this is it this one? Is it this one? Yeah. So this this part in here, the CPU itself, it's fine. There's nothing wrong with it. It's already tested it with a different power supply. That one's is fully working. So don't worry about that. So uh, and it's just it's just the the power supply. Remember, guys, there's three parts in the PLC. If your relay board goes down and you have a I don't know, you can't get the program out or it's protected or whatever that is, you can unplug this one and the program should be in there. Ah, uh, no, it probably not actually. I might, there might be a firmware version. Actually, I haven't tested it properly yet, but I will do possibly in the future. We'll see if it's possibly can be done. So that. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll do for this video. So uh, yeah, now you get to learn my donkey moments. So it happens now. I do a lot of testing. And again, yesterday, I don't know how that happened. Very, very rarely I do that. I usually check. It's just somehow, somehow slipped through my mind. And it just happened. And yeah, that is what it is. In the next video, we'll have a look at why I was testing those four uh, PLCs because I bought the bargain. So uh, what kind of bargain and what it's all about, check out in the next video. We'll see you there.